Um, I have two groups of opportunity hour. One is a group of kindergarten first and second graders, and then a group of third, fourth, and fifth. And so I usually offer art-based opportunity hour because I'm the art teacher. Um, and the students choose, I offer two to three different opportunity hours throughout the whole year and it gives students a chance to get into a different session if they weren't able to get in um, throughout the year. Because it's based on student interest, um, I'm able to go a lot deeper in content. So for instance, right now I'm doing a drawing class and um, I'm able to go a lot deeper and show them a lot more about different drawing skills and things like that because I know that they came because they wanted more drawing skills. And so the older group I'm doing um, maybe more middle school level drawing lessons. And um, yeah, so really the idea is that I can go a lot deeper in some of these main concepts. Looking at those houses over there, mm -hmm. they're all different sizes. Totally. So if this, nice. if even if like this one is the same size, because mm -hmm. this one's farther away, it's bigger. Good thinking, Simon. Um, Simon is using this idea of creating variety in the building sizes. So if you want to see how he's doing that, go check out go check out what Simon's doing. Um, it also has given me an opportunity to kind of get my feet wet. I have been a discipline-based art teacher for about 12 years, and I have wanted to um, also be a part of the personalized learning and the next generation learning that's happening here. And in the art world, there's something called TAB, and it's teaching artistic behavior. And it's choice-based instead of discipline-based. And that can be really scary if your room is set up where I have been used to walking students through, this is how we're drawing this together, and they can maybe put their own twist with a color palette, but for the most part, the last 12 years, we're working on the same art piece together. And um, Opportunity Hour has given me that chance to work out some kinks, to figure out what that's gonna look like in my room, how do I make materials accessible, because I realized that my room is not set up for students to be able to just go and get what they need. And so I was running around like a crazy person getting this for them and getting that for them. Um, and so by having this opportunity, I've also been able to figure out how am I going to go more choice based. And so I practiced with all my opportunity hour kids. I actually had a tab opportunity hour last year. I had one in the beginning of this year and it helped me work out some of the kinks. How do I, what routines and expectations do I need to have set up? Um, so I can now, this year, have been taking back some, a lot more of the choice-based idea back to the regular classroom because I was able to do that with them.